Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and welcome back to our Town Hall 8 Let's Play, where the defense and the laboratory grind continues. And we got a few walls too, so we're almost at that point to where we can say we're officially in the end game of the Town Hall 8 Let's Play. But before we get into all that, yes, I want to confirm, just like I did yesterday, that I did get a haircut. And I love it. It's so it's so much easier to deal with. So anyway, uh, let's go smack some bases. I'm looking for gold primarily. I've got a pretty good amount of it right now, so I can get anything done that I want to get done. For the most part, okay? Uh, but more is always better, right? <laughs> it just is. So, uh, yeah, first search. That was a really great first search. It's not quite that, like, you know, half a million gold that I look for. But it's 28 trophies, and it's got lots of Dark Elixir. 4,800, or 4,400, excuse me. That's a lot of Dark Elixir. Yeah, so we're going to smack that base, and, oh, wow, all the gold is in one spot, too. Okay, well, the <laughs> easy decision, then. Let's go. All right, so wizards, you guys kind of help us out out there, and um, I guess wall break into this compartment. There we go, and I need uh, a bit of a breadcrumb to be laid. There we go. Perfect. All right, so I need these bowlers to to get in there, and then I'm gonna drop myself a rage spell because these guys under rage are just so fun to watch. Uh, bowler, okay, right there, bam. Get in there, buddies. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, hogs, you guys, it's it's all you now, okay? It's all you. Uh, let's see, poison the king, for sure. There's no CC troops that I'm aware of. Also, is this a dead base? It is, so I doubt there's any giant bombs. So really all I need to do is watch out for the, the wizard towers. Um, so yeah, let's drop right out there. There's a pretty high level wizard tower, so if I don't keep them covered, then we're gonna have a problem, okay? And I've already got pretty much all the gold, so. It doesn't matter how well the attack continues to go, but um, I still would like to three-star a Town Hall 9 in today's video. That'd be kind of cool, right? So, right there. That'll cover all of them and uh, take them all the way through the rest of the defenses. Awesome. So, let's, yeah, let's get some archers start working on all that trash building out there, and I'm going to poison over this queen. She's level 18, y'all. She is not a pushover, okay? She's just not. Um, got a couple of hogs in the middle. I need these guys to focus on this queen. Okay, one is not gonna get the job done, dude. It's a good- oh, he's not even trying to hit her. Yeah, he was- <laughs> he was hitting the elixir. He's like, I don't care about this chick shooting me. What I care about is the loot. <laughs> I trained my hogs well. I did. I trained them well. Uh, alright, so the king goes down, and it looks like- oh yeah, so they're all going in the same direction. Um, we might not three-star based on time. Because I don't think any of my wizards actually survive. We got a happy split, and it's okay. That's not the best split. One hog went north. Everybody else went south. But if they're gonna take out this level 16 queen, I actually think this was better <laughs> to have all of the hogs in one spot. So uh, this actually worked out pretty well, I think. Watch this. So now that the queen's drawing some attention, hopefully these hogs come take her out. Come on, gang up on her, dudes. Okay, there we go. Take her down. She's gone. All right, nice. So now that'll all go down. We have... Oh. Wow. I didn't expect that. I ex <laughs> I did not expect that one hog to clear up all that so fast. That was awesome. Okay, I'm very impressed. I'm impressed with the hogs. They just made my day. I'm like super stoked right now. Those hogs are just the best. I'm telling you, most of you agree with me. Some of you are still questionable. You're still thinking go wipes the best attack. No, go wipes terrible it's about hogs okay hogs is where it's at anyway and by the way if you include bowlers with your go wipe it's not go wipe so you you can't use bowlers if you're going to call your attack go wipe just just a heads up okay lots of confusion on that subject so 260,000. if you use bowlers then it's like a go wipe bow it's not the same thing anyway so um i don't know why that's oh okay my elixir is maxed out of course it is of course my elixir is maxed out let me request for some cc troops and um let's I guess do a builder base attack or two and see what happens. So I did get my last army camp. So I do have, I now have my fifth army camp. So that means, and I haven't done any raids with those, with that yet. So I'm really excited about it. Um, let's do a gold upgrade actually. Let me think here, level five, level three, level three, level four. Yeah, yeah. let's upgrade this. This is gonna be a quick one, super cheap. Boost that, there we go. And then I would love to end up with, okay, I'm not even close to 2.4 million gold or elixir yet for the, the uh, baby dragon upgrade, but that's definitely next on my list. So I got the army camp. Now I'm working on upgrading these baby dragons. Um, 
Yeah, so again, I'm not- I've never done a raid on this account at least with this many baby dragons so I'm really curious to see how much p more powerful I feel because I, it's it's very much a feel type thing when it comes to builder base um, and I'm watching for like a good entry point for my battle machine because I like to be able to send them in straight at the uh, the builder hall if I can so I've got three more or four more baby uh, four more baby dragons let's actually send these guys in clear up that camp and shoot this guy in here. Okay. So, if I can at least take out two more point defenses, I'd feel much better. Okay, that one didn't go down, but it's pretty weak. But I think that the battle machine will have a hard time getting all the way over there. So, yeah. I have a, I have a hard time believing that I'm about to get a two-star. But at least I got the one-star. I mean, you know, take the victories where you can get them. Let's see what this guy can do. Uh, not good, man. Not good. And here's the problem. Once you build something new, you're like, oh, cool. I'm going to beat everybody else. And then you start getting matched up against people that have that thing that you just built. So you don't really get anywhere. The only way to get anywhere is if you're maxed out. And then you can't. You're, you're still even with everybody, but at least they're not ahead of you, which is generally where most of us fail. So anyway, uh, time has passed, but I'm guaranteeing you they got at least a two star. Never mind. Wow. Okay, uh, I think their percentage is better than mine. But I'm surprised that they didn't two-star. They usually do. <laughs> so, interesting. Well, they still beat me in percentage, but hey, you know what? We both one-starred. Good job. Go team go. Go team mediocre. <laughs> I tried, man. I really did. Anyway, back to the hogs. They're, they're my best friends. Um, no CC this time, so let's see what we can do without a clan castle. Aiming for gold. Don't need Dark Elixir, don't need Elixir. What do we want to do in the laboratory? Because obviously that's a big deal. Do we want to do Dark Elixir or Elixir? I generally like to do Elixir just because it's maxed out and I don't want to waste it forever and ever. But that's basically what the second, the last half of Town Hall 8 is maxed Elixir and nothing you can do with it. So, I don't know. Let's, let's make some decisions very soon. I'm looking forward to that. But I guess first I should find a base that I can smack with these hogs. So I'll be right back once I find a base with a decent amount of gold. In the meantime, don't forget to like, subscribe, join the Klaus family, and ring that bell for notifications. And, you know, use code Klaus, because that's just a great thing to do. Whoa. <laughs> 884,000 gold. 6,600,000. No, 6,600 Dark Elixir. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh... Yeah, okay, so here, here's where most of the gold is, down here, so I'm probably just going to attack straight at that. But, because I've got no heroes, it, it is, it's kind of all or nothing here. So what, here's what I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust the strategy a little bit, it's obviously not going to be a 3 star. I'm going to attack where most of the gold is, which is here, and I'm going to go all in with everything, okay? Hogs, golem, wizards, because the wizards are really what's going to grab the, the loot. Um, let me see, is there any gold on the inside of the base? Not really, uh, there's the queen there. Yeah, so this is really the only logical entry point. So let's go uh, golems. Let's put in uh, a few wizards and go one, two, three, four, five. Just like that with that. There we go. Okay, and archers. Put an archer over there just for some free percentage. And then let's actually get the hogs to go straight in just like that. So that way we can keep the, the, uh, the golems alive a lot longer than normal. So, yeah, we need to heal up that because there's a bomb tower. And I actually did kill a couple, of, I think. Um, and what do I want to do? Do I want to heal into the middle or do I want to heal to the outside? Actually, let's heal to the outside because this is where some extra um, gold is actually sitting. And it'd be super cool if I could clear up that over there too. But I highly doubt I'm going to be able to because that queen is standing there. So, let's just see what happens. Let's actually drop a, a rage down there. And maybe a, a poison over the queen. There we go. Okay. So, okay. So here's how this went down, guys. We did pretty good. We didn't get the town hall because it's surrounded by some really high level Teslas. They're really good. They're max level for town hall nine. So we don't want to mess with those. But we do have uh, a wizard and an archer working down there. And they're going to combine with this wizard to get us possibly some more elixir. I don't know. We'll see. They may decide not to go for that. And if we're lucky, they'll it, maybe they'll get this drill. But I, I doubt they're going to get that mine just because it's too close to the queen. Or we'll run out of time. We might run out of time. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, this base was fun to find, though. And actually, it looks like I got more of the elixir than I meant to. Like, I've got max elixir, so it doesn't really matter. What I really wanted was the gold. And I've got... Let me see. Yeah, I've got two gold mines up here next to the queen. So if I, if I had killed the queen somehow, maybe if I had my king with me, 
Then I would have waited until she hopped out, because you know how she circles the altar. She waited until she hopped out of the wall, right? Okay, she, she decided she was interested in what my wizards were doing. Normally she would jump over the wall. That's whenever I put the king right there, pop his ability. She, he would have been able to kill that queen. Uh, and then, oh, come on. Really? That was a bummer. Um, yeah, so the king would have been able to kill the queen, and then my archers, or my hogs might have been able to get to that archer tower, and then we would have gotten all the gold. So, one of those situations where I wish I had my, my king with me. Um, no, don't shoot the... Uh, okay, well, at least I got a shot off. Good job, guys. Good job. So, 400,000 gold. Not bad. But the Dark Elixir, that was pretty awesome. 6,000. I think that's like a record, or it's close to a record on this series. That was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. Thank you for the Barbarian. That was awesome. All right, so, okay. Now that we're here, we've done the raids, let's think about something. Okay, first things first, bomb tower. I upgraded it last time, it is now maxed out, okay? So we're done with the bomb tower, let's move this baby across. Okay, now, what do we wanna focus on? Do we wanna focus on Teslas, cause they target air, or do we wanna focus on giant bombs? Or both? I think we can just do both. I was actually, good. I was thinking about doing cannons today, but I'm thinking it might work better this way. Okay, let's collect this treasury, that's gonna put us to Almost 4 million gold. Okay, not bad, not bad. And, okay, so, 1 million, 2 million, 3.3 million, just for that. 3.9 million for the giant bomb. 4.5 million. So I don't quite have enough gold to do all five. That's fine, because I could probably do something cheaper. I've always got filler upgrades in the Collectors of Mines, which I need to do. Also, the laboratory. Let's actually focus on the laboratory first. I got a plan brewing in the back of my head for, for the builders. But for the laboratory, I'm actually thinking we ought to do the uh, P.E.K.K.A. Because I, I know I just kind of made fun of Go-Wipe, but it's kind of fun to throw in a P.E.K.K.A. with some Valkyries, right? I mentioned Valkyries last time. I, I need to upgrade them. But I kind of want to keep spending Elixir because I've got Max Elixir. So, yeah, let's upgrade this P.E.K.K.A. Level 2, I think level 2 is maxed out for Tunnel 8. 1.5 million elixir. 3, 2, 1. Bam. There we go. Usually P.E.K.K.A. is my last upgrade, honestly. I'm like, I'm, I'm so not a P.E.K.K.A. user. But, in, uh, at Town Hall 8, I mean, that's when you unlock the P.E.K.K.A., right? Town Hall 8. But it, there's, some, there's some uses for it, okay? There's some uses for it, and I'm looking forward to showing you guys very soon. Um, I don't remember if I mentioned last episode that I was gonna use a new strategy yet. I think I mentioned that it was in the works. I don't remember. Anyway, now, <laughs> let's let's focus. Focus on the task at hand here. Let's upgrade all three Teslas. So, a triple, triple bam, okay? One day upgrade for this one, 1.3 million gold. This one's 1 million, so that's a bam, that's a bam, and that is also a bam. There you go. So, all three of these are less than 24 hours. One is 24, one is 18. Now, I would love to do both of these giant bombs. That'd be super cool. But because I can't afford all of those, I'm going to spend more elixir on a gold mine. Totally okay with cool, uh, totally fine with doing that. Because uh, I'm focusing really on the defenses I think are most effective for defending me right now. So giant bombs for, for hogs. Uh, Teslas are the last air targeting defense. So kind of just continue to work through that. So 600,000 gold, one day upgrade, three, two, one, bam. And I believe... That's maxed, right? Yeah, okay, so that's a level three giant bomb and it is maxed out. So I'm gonna grab this one that I just upgraded and move it across and put it with its friend right there. Perfect. Okay, and remember the Tesla maxes out at level six at 1008. So this one has one left to go and these two still have two left to go. And then for the last builder, we're gonna use Elixir and just upgrade a gold mine. All of them need to be upgraded one time. So let's do it. Three, two, one, bam. I'm not sure where I want to put these, so I'll just line them up on the other side, kind of uh, over here by the air bomb. So I'll just line them up just like that. Perfect. All right, so guys, we're at this, we're at, we're at an interesting point right now because I believe the mortars get one level to level six, right? Because they are, yeah. So we have four defense levels with the mortars. We have five with the cannon plus another five because they have to be upgraded twice. So that's 10, so 14 plus two, two and one, that's five. So we have 19 defense upgrades left and then the trap upgrades. So we have a little ways to go, but I mean, I'd say the countdown has begun. So definitely something to be looking forward to going forward. And then we make the big leap to Town Hall 9. Of course, that's always gonna be fun too. 
So, uh, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 8 Let's Play. If you enjoyed it, please like this video and give us a comment for the YouTube algorithm. Let me know what you're thinking. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it as well. And you haven't done that to join the class family for daily gaming videos. And ring that bell for notifications so you guys actually know when videos go live. We upload every day at the same time, most of the time. Uh, also, don't forget to use code Klaus if you guys decide to buy something in the game. Just remember that it gives a small percentage of each purchase to the content creator you choose to support. So it's a huge benefit. And it's a huge plus, and it's very helpful for us content creators. And then remember that the code does expire after seven days. So always go into your shop, for, look for Little White C. If it's there, then you're good. Go ahead and make your purchase. If it is not, then input the code using the link in the description, which is automatic if you're on your mobile device or do it manually in your settings and remember that all of the codes work in every single supercell game not just clash of clans so if you play any of those do consider using code klaus that's all for me guys remember that i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time